welcome to the Cut Uncut. We are live every Friday at 2 p.m. Today is the first of our hour-long show. Woo! Get excited! Yes, that <laughs> means we won't be rushing through topics with uh, really lame transitions between them. No, I still get. No, 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 we should still yeah. keep the segues. All right. Um, <laughs> my name's Jake Kohler, and my script just disappeared. Once <laughs> <laughs> Because you don't all know our names. You no, we're all about professionalism yes. on this show. <laughs> Once again, I'm joined with Dan Martinez, Hello. Adam Ionidas, and Georgie Meadows. Hey. Now, unfortunately, uh, Georgie will be leaving us halfway through the show. She has a life. Get over it. <laughs> busy, um, business, busy businesswoman. <laughs> hey, it's true. So what are you? So where are you going today? You I'm going up to the Mornington Peninsula because I have a, um, a little startup business with my cousin and we sell baked goods at farmer's markets and on the, the name weekends. Of it, we, can, we can give you a chance to plug a little bit. Okay, I'll plug. <laughs> uh, the name is Mother Mary. Uh, and we will be at the Emu Plains Farmer's Market at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning in Belnaring, no. if for anyone's morning, up that way. Yeah, for all of our Mornington Peninsula listeners. There yeah, we go. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So on the show today, we'll be discussing uh, a few things. Uh, one of them's a few trailers, including the Power Rangers trailer. Go, go, Power Rangers. Yes. <laughs> uh, we also have um, some interesting director news regarding the remakes of Aladdin and Mulan. Um, and also we introduce our new video game segment, NPC. Georgie's very excited for that. Yeah. Um, but Thrilled. First, really, really is it Mario Karts? It can be. Yeah, well, then, then I'm there. Karts. That, oh, do you remember the, um, the game that followed the Simpsons movie on Nintendo DS? Uh, I cannot say I do. I do remember oh. Simpsons Hit and Run, though. I was mm, all over mm, that and game. And Road Rage. <laughs> there no, was some quality The Simpsons game. movie Nintendo DS game. Fantastic. Nice. <laughs> but... Just before we fart, uh, start, not fart, <laughs> <laughs> we have a quick fun fact. <laughs> Adam has not seen the South Park movie. Uh. <laughs> yeah, this was uh, a big, big announcement during uh, the week for us. Huge. Considering he's possibly one of the most obsessed South Park yeah. fanatics I've ever met. I, you, you, I can't believe you haven't seen Sa seen Satan going up there, up there. There's where. so much room <laughs> where babies burp and flowers boom. Yo, <laughs> yeah, it's a, uh, it's something <laughs> of magic, and I think, uh, I think we did very well to. Oh yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I think we did very well to exhibit that. But yeah, what? Why have you not seen it? What is that one? Just, thing? just hasn't popped up. I have the extended DVD. I'm but it's, happy but to it's share. South I'm pretty sure I have it as well. I just <laughs> it's it's a quality one. I it's, will definitely say I, yes. Even I, so many I'm, episodes relate back to it as well. Like yeah, I get, so. he was talking about the one where Chris comes back. No, Chris and no Satan's dating Chris and and Saddam Hussein <laughs> comes comes back. And it's, so that's, that makes sense now. Can you imagine if there was no context and people just heard that phrase? Uh, yeah, <laughs> just joined so, so it's just Georgie's <laughs> life. Well, I, just my life. I had no context technically, just watching the the, uh, the episode. Oh, but well, you know. You didn't right. get why well, it was so funny. It's a little bit depressing. Now, we're going to mix things up a little bit. Um, since Georgie has to leave her, we're going to start with a uh, movie club right now. Something that I can talk about. Week. It was Looper. <laughs> Georgie actually liked it. Woo! It's <laughs> actually a good movie. <laughs> Uh, okay, so I have a couple of statements about Looper. First off, positive. He doesn't oh, okay. like it. I, oh, okay. I didn't hate it. <laughs> Way to burst my bubble. There. He's just disappointed. Uh, okay, uh, he didn't I, hate it. He just didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> it. Takes me. It takes a lot for me to hate something. What can I say? I'm. I'm a pretty. That's, that's pretty true. joyous. So, individual. what were the things you're a bit iffy about? I don't know. There was just a couple of elements to it where I felt like. Some of it was rushed, and then some of it felt like it stayed for too long. I the pacing it's a two hour movie. I don't think I don't think much was rushed. No, it, they got everything in they needed. No, to. but the, uh, I, the pacing was weird for me. It was felt like I needed to get to one point, uh, like really, really far, like setting up the entire loop of stuff. Plus, I'm not a big fan of over narration. Like you know I feel like else? someone's holding okay. my hand. I, I sort of feel like Dan's the kind of guy that can't sit down and watch a movie. Like, oh, he absolutely needs to stand not. Up He's and said move that around. multiple times. Uh, look, I like to do other stuff. Like when I I will stream so much Netflix while I'm either playing video games or I'm doing assignment work. <laughs> what? Yeah, do not do that. It's a bit like I have no whilst playing video games. Dual screen up. I have like one screen oh is just dedicated God. to my uh, to my movies. The other ones I'm just playing video games. Daniel, oh, hey. um, Daniel Martinez. That is 
What? <laughs> That's just too much. That's just too much for your poor little brain. Okay, I'm a little bit hurt. You're calling my brain little. Well, but, um, no. you're, you're, you're like frying it with all that screen time. <laughs> I don't know. It should be restrictions. Uh, well, I've been told my eyes would go square for a long time, but, you know, they're still okay. Yeah. Which is a bonus. Uh, so It's the, shot so well, though. Like, well, it, it's, now. it's a yeah, gorgeous, it's a gorgeous film. It is but... beautiful. I think, um, I found it really freaky how they morphed, they gave, um, Joseph, Joey? Joseph, Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Joseph, yeah, the, the prosthetics and the, and the thing, and the, um, what am I trying to say, contacts, um, not nearly as attractive when he's trying to be Bruce Willis. Not nearly as attractive. No, they really like, morphed him a little that's, bit. That's the, the biggest thing you took out of that movie, isn't it? Um, no. No, she was uh, no, discussing no, I was, some I was quite, I was, I was, yeah, I really liked how, although it was really futuristic, it had kind of a a retro kind of feel, like in like a um, noir. noir detective thriller you know, black and white. See, that's one thing that really annoyed me. Like, no, I that, loved it. That I felt... and, it was, and it kind of, it was like, oh yeah, so well, you know how there's that theory, it's like nothing's original, everything's just recycled, recycled, recycled. I don't think that's a theory. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, wait for later a, in the show. A, we will show you this. People say. They address it in the movie as well, though, with um, uh, yeah. the the person who who's in charge of everything, who came back in time and runs the whole Looper gang, where he says, you know. Wait, what the, do they address? Like, the fact that things have been do- redone, like, oh. they dress it subtly. It's like, you know, the movies you're dressing up like are just remakes of remakes, mm-hmm. yeah. he says, which kind of, like, you Well, know. this is also, spe- like, remakes of remakes. I read in the IMDb trivia, um, this is the third movie that Bruce Willis has been in, um, where his car- he's, like, past lo- character. His older self, younger self, comes back to visit him in the present. There was, like, a 1995 movie and a 2000 what movie. What was the 1995 movie called? Um, 12 Monkeys? Do you, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Adam uh, loves that movie. I was it's a great why movie. It sounded so familiar. So I thought that was interesting, and that also, you know, weaves into that. There's what no was that one idea. where there was like a little boy? Was that <laughs> him? Twelve Monkeys? No, like a <laughs> Sixth Sense. No, oh, yeah. a Disney film <laughs> called. Was it called Boy? And it was Bruce Willis and this little kid. I oh. can't even remember. Well, I remember it's the Disney film was big, big with I'm Tom Hanks. I'm just going to see if I can find it. I don't know, yeah. but. Yeah, so going back to the actual, like, mm. setting and stuff like that, I don't know, the the weird fusion didn't, like, sit well with me. Uh, I loved, I did say, I loved fusion how... Fusion of... Like, what, the Shanghai? noir and the futuristic type I didn't element. see much oh. noir in it, to be honest. I, I, it was I, more of a stylistic approach to the to the film, like, the mate, like the camera styles and all that. Yeah. yeah. I guess. But, Especially um, in the, and, and in the, the night LE and scenes and the narration, that's what I really liked. Yeah, but it felt... a. I did like how they used the, the TK stuff, the telekinetic mm. elements, and how it was just like, they just existed there. Like, the, the yeah. introduction of the telekinetic stuff, I'm like, cool, that's actually really, like, interesting. It's like, something so amazing is just not even a core component of this movie. It's just... Well, it was well, in the it end. Was. I mean, but like, the yeah, it set it up. No, 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 no but like, the full set, and you know, it kind of works in the payoff, but I'm just saying, in that whole lead up, it feels like it's just there. Mm. And then you're like, oh, yeah, Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's not explored yeah. throughout. Actually, I just, I just found the film. It was called The Kid, and it's from 2000. And, that was um, the other one then. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. that's where he gets <laughs> a second chance at life because an eight-year-old version of himself shows up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I, my argument would be that Bruce Willis doesn't do many things that original, but I did like this movie and that it wasn't... Um, He's only in Fast the best and... Christmas movie of all time. Exactly. What, what Fast and the Furious Christmas edition? Die Hard. What the? Fa- die Hard or Christmas? Di- oh, die Hard is set on I Christmas, knew, yeah. I knew, yeah. No, no Die I Hard is a Christmas movie. It is a Christmas movie. Everyone knows it. <laughs> I knew I was going to get that wrong. Yeah, who oh, needs well. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Re- Net Reindeer, right? When you've got Bruce. <laughs> when you've got Die Hard. Oh, God. Did, uh, I, okay, so, yeah, Die Hard and Fast and Furious, two separate movies, actually. Uh, okay. two separate <laughs> movies. Aware they're separate? They're very, very, aware, aware, very separate. Aware they're a lot separate. Less, a lot less cars in, the, not, the, um, in Die Hard. I'm just not so learned on the on the actors. In, that, that's in fine. Either. Vin that's... Diesel, Bruce Willis. See, and all, okay, it's easy to get Both them. Both bald, yes. <laughs> exactly, it's easy to get them mixed up when I'm not really paying attention to any of the Okay, movies. speaking of which, uh, this is a complete tangent, but this is just okay. something I've wanted to discuss on the show for a little while. Cause since we brought up Vin Diesel and uh, The Rock a couple of weeks ago, we were talking about, uh, I want to talk about The Rock fight and The Vin Diesel fight. You know, you remember in Fast and Furious 5 when they fought? Publicity stunt oh, right. or? No, Wait, no in, in the actual, in the yeah. movie. And in, Vin Diesel oh. won. It was like, how does Vin oh, Diesel you mean beat like the Rock? The one that was not the one that they're having not at the, the moment feud. on the set. No, yeah. no, that's that's a whole other thing though. That's a really candy ass. Yes. <laughs> really, really, it's a really, really. Um... They're having a little tanty. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Georgie. Way, way, way to derail us, but yeah. 
<laughs> so in ter- so for Looper, we're going back to it. Okay. Who? Well, so star ratings. What did everyone think? Georgie. Uh, yeah, I would give it a uh, four. I yeah. I would give it a solid four and a half because it's one of those movies that in the next ten years you're still going to be able to go back and watch it and be like, that's a really well made movie. Yeah. I don't. I think it'll age really well. Uh, and I gave it a three, maybe two and a half. I know Gee it was. Whiz. Yeah, look, he just was, doesn't like it. I know. I guess. So why I don't you like every, it? Not everyone what, what, Why don't I like? I, don't I think that's why he's concerned for the next Star Wars film because the next Star Wars film is directed by by the, by the same guy. Yeah. Oh, okay. Which yeah, is going to make scared. it awesome. Look, yeah. I, I, I think. And it'll maybe be, the first one I see. Unless you guys it's an have Empire to do with it. it. It'll be. It'll have that same cinematography style, which I think will be really interesting. Like with the Rogue One trailer, how they're going a little bit more noir and stuff like that. But we'll get to that in a little bit. I wouldn't really call it. Noir. I think we're throwing around that term very yeah. loosely. Welcome today. to the I, noir episode. <laughs> I initiated it this morning at about eleven o'clock, and I said noir, and you've all just run. With I it. really like the word. I'm, I'm going to keep running with it. Yep. But um, no, yeah, I think that that is why I'm so concerned. I was like, when I watched it the first time, I was kind of, I didn't really watch it. Watch it. I was. It was one of those things where it's on in the background. I'm like, okay, cool. It's here. I'm on my phone. So Emily phone. Blunt didn't even doesn't oh, make she brought like the a three point five. She brought the attention ba- back, but then uh, jo- it switched back to Joseph Gordon Levitt and Bruce Willis, and my attention slipped. Mm. I don't know how your attention can can slip. In I that know movie. there was no time. It's it's a good movie. Oh uh, look! It's oh well, everyone's entitled. <laughs> Great to their argument, own Jake. It's a good movie. <laughs> I mean, like I chose it so. Well, I mean. I think it's a good movie, and then it's backed up by Georgie, and like that's two contrasting things. Look, just... I, 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 <laughs> I can mean, I can see it, why it's people, a ten out of ten. I can see why people liked it. Don't get me wrong; I can see the elements of it. Uh, I loved. So the... you didn't really like the 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 noir aspect, <laughs> <laughs> or the length. Uh, or the it, length. It, it was more. It wasn't even that long, man. No, it was the pacing. I know, we had Godfather. It was last the pacing week. That was issues that hours. really threw me off. I think. Where, I see. I didn't think. I didn't feel like there were pacing issues. I felt like every scene was to where, the where it compounded to the next one. I don't know. It felt yeah. like I was at one point for too long, and then I was at another point for too little. I'm like, okay, I, I kind of want to go back to this because I'm really enjoying. Mm. I know it's too bad. Time travel hasn't been invented. Yet. Exactly. See, yeah, it's too bad it's been outlawed. God. Yeah. But um. Well, but Adam, but what, do you, what do you give the movie? Uh, yeah, probably to. F- Four, four okay. to four to four and a half. It's such Great. a hard step to go it's, from that four to the five movie. because it's a big call. I feel like oh, we should just go. We should go with ten because then we can really. We can really we get can into really the. Well, I was originally going to give it an eight. Well, I'm giving eight. it an eight. I'd give it an eight. And then six and a half. Yeah. God, <laughs> it's so above that's, average. That's a credit. Hey, hey it's, yeah, I was, yeah, exactly. It's still. Please it's still, get the degrees. It's a pretty passing yeah, grade. No. All right, so now I think we we need to talk Power Rangers a little bit because. Yeah. I've seen the trailer. It's gone very, very viral. How many views? Uh, t- it's been like a, a, a top trending video on YouTube for, a, I think, since it came out for New York Comic Con. So for those who aren't aware, totally New York Comic Con like, oh, last week, pretty cool. So a lot of trailers, a lot of news was announced. But yeah, this whole... Uh, Ooh, 8 million, it, almost 8.5 million views. The new Power Rangers coming out. It looks pretty cool. It has a lot of re- weird elements to it, but it has a lot of teenage angst, which I'm not really sure about. Yeah, nah. not too big on the teenage Ooh. angst thing. Yeah, so uh, for those unaware, because we were unaware a little bit ago, <laughs> Adam, huge Power Rangers fan. Mm. So as a kind but of... old school... But again, this blows my Power mind Rangers. because you hadn't seen the original movie, which came out in the height of Power Rangers. Back in the 90s. Yeah, 95. see, so, I saw the first two seasons of Mighty Morphin, then I kind of dumped the third season because I didn't like where it was going. And then I picked up from Zeo. Which was the, can you just the picture like season. a little Adam being so critical <laughs> of all these shows? Like, mm, yes, yes, this third season just isn't up to scratch. Oh, it really, dro- it really dropped down. So have, when I publish. when I when I say like the first two seasons of Mighty Morphin and then Zio, I mean like last year. Oh, when Netflix was released and all the Power Rangers series were on there. I feel Ew. like, it, you know, okay. I was a fan as a kid, but you know, I didn't have access to every single season <laughs> yeah. as a kid. So much power. <laughs> <laughs> so much power. Oh, uh, just go- going through it all, but. Yeah, I don't know. There were there were some elements I really liked. There was one that was on the screen just before from the trailer where it has kind of the, the punky chick doing the like the haircut and everything. Oh, yeah, the like. punky Kimberly. chick would be the highlight. I, she's gonna for be the me. star. Kimberly. 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 Sorry. Kimberly punk chick. Wait, we're so. Is she uh, still the pink ranger? Yeah. Yeah, Kimberly's cool. But um, they've changed the colors on. The, well, what were you saying before? Was it the blue ranger is now. No, it's it's just Zach is no longer a um who is the Black Ranger. He's no longer a uh, a black actor. Okay, 
Okay. And I feel like that's a very political move because there may have been our Well, that's why I was asking, is, is Kimberly still the pink ranger? Yeah, everyone else is the same except um, the, uh, I can't, I, I don't know. The and act, Yellow the Ranger actors. was... It was Trini, who is an Asian in the movie. Yeah. Um, but so... the other girl is still the Yellow Ranger. And um, so now the black actor is the Blue Ranger. Oh yeah, the uh, the, uh, okay. the kind of nerdy. So there's OCD. still a bit of yeah. Who is um, who is still the Blue Ranger? Billy's was always a nerd, so he's still got yeah. That but I mean, so they you got know, like the a... source material has it that way. It's but even then, like there was a we were throwing this around before. They all have like these really misfit qu- style qualities, which right? is I yeah, think like a all really of boring them for some reason. Story line. It's overdone. But I mean, it's Power Rangers. Pe- no, no, also, no, the but... trailer um kind of a uh, it it implies so far that um they found. The, uh, the 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 um, the energy crystals instead of actually being given them, mm. so they're not yeah, chosen to be rangers. It did give me a little bit of Chronicle vibes. Yeah, I was gonna that... say it's a kid's version of Chronicle. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> that that entire like scene where they're underground, they're about to reach out, and like, that that I'm whole like... jumping over the cliff thing was just really cringy. I yeah. Think. yeah. It, 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 I reckon we're going to see a lot of... Um, like, no one jumps like be... this. At the, at, <laughs> at the same time, it has to have that kind of original feel, like the nostalgic feel of the old one, which was really, really corny. Yeah. I, it, is trust me, comedic? I know. Is any of it we comedic know. or, like, tries to oh, be funny? It was very oh, I, I reckon they're going to go very yeah, self-aware. Yeah, scene was okay. totally Like, comedic. every time they would move... No, no, I don't mean like... that scene. I mean the original. Because I do think the jump scene was... Yeah, oh, corny, like, really comedic. bad, cringy comedy. Oh, yeah, the original. Original. Yeah. I'm going to say the jump scenes in the original were way better than the new ones. Okay. They, were, they did and the Pandorum style jumping where oh. it's cut from multiple angles. <laughs> I get a shit. Yeah, and they're in the air for like 20 seconds. Pandorum. Yeah, but you and I have, it for, have that shiver for entirely different reasons. Me, I think that scene with the freaking glow stick and you just because you did not like that movie. Just because I did like the movie, <laughs> just like you didn't like Looper. Now, the, um, the designs of the Power Rangers. Uh, I don't know. It looks real like. Well, it, they, they couldn't do bodysuits again because that just looks lame. <laughs> I disagree. Does it it can, does. If they're going to do a Hollywood movie, we can have fun with it a little bit. Like, it feels like they never would have done it, though. They never would have done it. I, I don't know. They Wait, look... what do you mean? They're, they're not doing full body suits? No, they, uh, they're doing like. No, no, as in weird, like, like lycra metal, sort of suits. Like... They're Iron Man suits, they look like. Oh. And they're. They look a little helmet? bit like the Do you remember those toys weird? you could get where it was their normal head and, and it you flipped their. Yeah. Their Button and it would flip that, yeah. Oh, the, yeah, the people at school had that, I think. It looked a little bit like the symbiote from Spider Man, where it just kind of like morphed down <laughs> their body. Ah. So, I don't know. I guess they're trying to make it look a little bit new agey, but I feel like that won't help the corniness of the film. Mm. But, uh,. Well, if it's a kids' movie, I guess it has to be a bit corny. Yeah, and but if I they want to say surely the original. No, oh, no yeah. but I, I, that's the thing. I don't think it's a kids' movie. No, I think I it's a think trying it to appeal either. to nostalgic adults and the Hunger Game kind of crowd. Well, they yeah, the oh, young yeah. adult, the YA I mean, crowd. Like, that would be what thirteen plus. Oh, uh, the the, the they're kids. The people no, in the like actual kids are under thirteen, I would say, because there's would then you? they're teens. Yeah, then they're the YA group. Pa- okay, past so the PG queens. thirteen group, yeah, there we go. Yeah. See, I'm disappointed because originally when they announced it, it was actually everyone was under the impression it was going to be a prequel to the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, and so Jason, Trini, Billy, Zack, and Kimberly weren't actually going to be in it. It was going to be Zordon as the Red Ranger battling Rita Repulsa for the first time, as like a prequel thing. Uh, Rita Repulsa, for those who are unaware, is the lady who takes Kimberly out of her bed in the uh, in the trailer in the trailer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's like probably one of the most. Can we grab that again, Jake? Wow. It's probably one of the most badass points of that uh, entire Yeah, trailer. she looks awesome. She's good. And Goldar, that's, who is her uh, at, at that henchman, point, I was like, oh, this looks it, like it could be good. It, yeah. it actually has something cool and interesting yeah. to it. Um, just before we continue with more trailers, yeah. Adam hasn't picked his movie of the week. Oh, 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 go oh, did, for did, it, didn't Adam. I, didn't please. I? We totally skipped. I'm sorry, Adam. Oh, uh, no, that's okay. We can keep going if you guys is want. Is it going to be Batman? No, no, please, you go. Uh, what should I pick? See, I actually had something in mind, but it's not on Netflix anymore. Uh, Anymore? Uh, no, I could have sworn Sin City was on Netflix. Uh, I didn't think it was. It was. Maybe do um Fight Club. Mm, no, maybe that's not. your next pick, Georgie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look, while while it. while Adam's still picking, we we don't yeah. have to harass him for now. Uh, but it let's has go... to be in the next eleven minutes. And that's fine. It that's will fine. Be. It will okay, be in good. the next eleven minutes. So, but uh, let's talk Fantastic. Fantastic Beasts, Beast, right? No one in this room uh, besides me was aware that it was actually based on a book. I thought it was just that blew my mind. The they haven't marketed it that way at all. That no, they... but I, I mean, if you're if, like fans of Harry Potter, would surely know that it was a book if they were reading the books. Yeah, I guess so. When but was the, When did the book? When two thousand and one. Oh, okay. 
Yes, but we're... <laughs> of course, of course, we don't know what that this is. Where I yeah, wasn't but reading when did, when in two thousand and one. When did Harry Potter come out? Two thousand. The movie or the book? The book. Nineties. And if you were reading it then. Yeah, I guess. I have a confession to make. I've only read the first three. I know it felt like a good. Se- what Ooh. I re- it uh, what I really yeah, liked I about I this was that it looked like a really cool standalone movie. Yeah. And now it's not. <laughs> because oh. thank uh. thank you, Hollywood, we have another thing where we're splitting a really cool concept that would have been amazing on its own, that has looks amazing and gorgeous. It's the trailer's up on the screen See, right now. This is why I asked you, are they gonna pull a hobbit with it and turn it like are they I... just gonna base it on all the, on the one book? And yes. as, or they... as far as we knew, it was gonna be a standalone movie. And then this morning they just came out of nowhere with like, ah, oh, five more is movies. Is that Colin Farrell? Yeah, 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 he's the is. bad guy, and I he like looks him. really good. Oh, Colin Farrell, and they've got Ezra Miller like again. Is uh, oh really? Uh, yeah. So I think it's uh, it's a really weird thing to go to five. Why five? Why five movies? I'm genuinely why baffled. Not? They're gonna make so much and money. And they're off gonna of split it. the last one in two and release them a year apart. Yes, yeah, so that's actually six extra movies. Yeah, great. Um, but well, I mean, I like Eddie. Um, yeah, I Red, like him. Redmayne. Redmayne. Yeah, yeah I really right. like him, and he would be the reason that I go and see it, and because I really like the Harry Potter movies. So. See, I've never got into the Harry Potter movies. But you but read. All, I would, but you like I, all the books. Oh, I read them when I was in primary school, but I haven't read this one. But watching the trailer, yeah. I'm like, this looks better than the Harry Potter movies. It to looks me. gorgeous. Okay. I, I love the American background. I love mm. and the, the era it's yeah. set in. Oh, I think that's why I like more rather than just a mystical school. The, uh, and just too much for the me. The actual. <laughs> no, I love that. I the love actual, that actual that effects piece. of it all. Like I don't know if you guys have gotten into the nitty gritty of the trailer, but I watched it a couple of times, and I absolutely. stylized with it's cgi but it's not like overbearing like it, it's got that mixture like you remember how transformers right the transformers movies. so not like the hobbit not like that we can have more hobbit discussions later but i'm just saying i don't want to where we had uh that moment in transformers where you have something so big and fake and it overwrought and it completely takes away from any kind of progress you'd make or investment you make in the story because like it looks mm. weird the hobbit but <laughs> yeah. um, or like when oh in Winno- I don't know which movie, but when some either Diesel, Vin Diesel, or Bruce Willis chucks a car at <laughs> a helicopter. Yeah, that is Die, die Hard Four. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and it's Bruce. It is Bruce. Ha. Jesus, is that the one with Justin Long as well? Yeah. Yes, it is. We're oh, back like when, back Long. when Justin Long Terrible was still movie. technically a movie star. I mean, was... let's be honest. Die Hard Four was more about the uh, the sets that were happening in terms. Oh, 100%. of hundred percent. The piece. But um, I don't know. I don't see. Why would go? Why would branch out something that could be so cool alone and work so well and be really interesting into some, into five movies? I'm gonna keep saying this because it just it makes me really sad. But yeah, you're really it you're really paved about money, that. huh? Because it'll earn the money. Yeah, That's I, I like get the only that. thing they care about. And I mean, and it's gonna make it exactly. Yeah, it's to them. It's the next Harry Potter money making machine. Harry yeah. Potter is such loyal machines. They they will they will follow. Mm. It's very true. Soon there'll be a Fantastic Beasts world at like. Disney World However, I would definitely enjoy Uber that, like, because I saw Harry Potter World in um in Orlando when I was oh, over did you there. Go? Oh my god, it's great! Aren't they building yeah. a Disneyland in Australia, or was that fake? I think that's, that's fake. So fake. Okay, if if they were, we uh, the there Superman is a Star Wars coaster. World in Disney World. If they were, I would go broke. I would have no money left. All right, now really you so, just get a job there, right? Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. I I I'd, I'd completely world. change career paths. I'd get off the air, get off the radio, and go straight to Disney World. Or you could be um the producer of their, like, on-site radio show. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, Because surely there would be, you know, welcome to Disney World Australia and this is what's happening today. And if not, you could pitch it to them. Yeah, it's true. Uh, And probably win. Now, uh, we have more (laughs) live-action Disney news just while Georgie's here because we only have about five minutes to take a break. Had you saw the Bob Dylan Nobel Prize thing? It's really cool, though. It's really cool. I know, I know. I won't be here for it. We will talk about that a little bit later. It's okay. I know. I know. I know. (laughs) You guys, <laughs> but we'll go. Stay tuned for the Georgie Stop soundboard it. next week. Stop yeah, it. we'll go down a little bit because there's a couple of really cool aspects to it. So first off, you have Guy Ritchie directing Aladdin, which is a weird one. Very mm. weird. So uh, apparently, it's they're going the Aladdin is now part of the uh, criminal underworld of the uh, of Agrabah. In, oh, okay. What? What? Agrabah. I feel like his, oh, yeah, yeah. his style would suit it though. It's, I, I can picture. Who's it. gonna play him? 
No, nah, that hasn't been announced yet. I know, no, no, let's brainstorm. Okay, who who would you... Ha- God. And Jasmine? I just don't know. <laughs> it's just such a great movie. Oh, it's a whole new world. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Are you proud of yourself right now? No. <laughs> oh, what's her name? Um, If she was... Uh, I guess she could still play it, but maybe Who ideally if she say, was a little bit younger. Um, um, Selma Hayek. Selma, yes, exactly. <laughs> Poor Selma. She is young enough to play that role. Thank Sel- you. Gosh, she's a gorgeous human. There was a... Uh... Just CGI it. <laughs> They will. Uh, but yeah, so Guy well, it would be nice if they give some actress like her big break. Yeah, and like then the, Disney stuff. In terms, of, <laughs> in terms of other Disney news, they announced back in 2012 that they were going to do a Don Quixote movie, which yeah. is very strange because it's a lot darker. What than, is it? So Don Quixote. Yeah, I have never. Don't I'm say the it's a book Disney because fan. that doesn't tell me anything. All right, I'll, I'll go into a little bit. So Don Quixote is this story of a guy who gets caught up in these stories of chivalry and robot and there's really weird novel it's but it's a, it's a spanish novel back uh, so mm-hmm. and then through this he goes in some kind of vigilante rampage trying to uh so he's uh, a spanish chival- batman a little bit a little bit but uh, <laughs> uh more 16th century more swords maybe yeah. maybe batman stole his idea yeah uh, who knows but uh it's cool. an old old idea and i have no idea how so it was just that. a book Huh? It was just a book, like, yeah. It's like a really a comic it's, book. No, no, no. It's, as in, it's a, a very novel. famous novel. Okay. Like Don Quixote is quite. Uh, I'm surprised no one has. What's the content there. like? Have you read it? I just, not for years. But like, but you have. was it full on? Like in terms of full on, I mean, like was it was it kind of corny or did oh, it come it, across it was, really it was like very very corny? Okay. But it's another twist because it, it had no, not, not no? really, not no? really. No? Okay. It was when cool. was it written? It could be made. It could be made. Yeah, yeah. When was it written? Open for interpretation. I Did you do your research? No, I, I just I just saw the uh, oh, this post. Daniel. I'm sorry. I'm what did you have back. to eat this morning? <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm <laughs> going back, but I will say it's going to be very interesting because it's a little bit corny because it's so focused on the romantic chivalrous themes. So I feel like mm. any time he says something on stage, it's going to end up a little bit cringy. But it'll be very interesting to see how they like take that and hopefully it doesn't become a... Wait, uh, it's going to be a stage show or a live-action movie? Live-action movie. Okay. They're, they're adding it onto their new roster. There's just too many of these Disney live-action films coming out being yeah. remade. So there's Mulan there's now. There's no such thing as an original idea. No, it's not that. It's just... Stop. I Look, what? I get what else are they going to do? You're ruining my childhood. No. They're ruining your childhood. <laughs> they, 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 they are trying no. to repurpose everything and I, I don't know why you, you take away from really classic animation. But it's like every... Yeah, exactly. Every week we come here and it's like there's a new Disney live action every <laughs> it's, time. It is true. Coming. And look, like, let them express... The, uh, you have their creative outlet. Yeah. It might not be original, but let them do it. They might, they might like, absolutely... Well, Jungle Bugger Book was pretty up, good. But I will the Jungle Book was pretty good. Has anyone seen Tarzan um, yet? Because that looks really bad. No, it looks oh, terrible. no. Sorry, Margot. But- sorry, Margot. No. Margot <laughs> Robbie's in it. Oh. She just said Margaret. I'm like, wait, what does Marg have to do? <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> Did she make it? I think I think The Little Mermaid would be a good live action. Uh, just stop. I don't know. Like, no. See, because now they've got more. Yeah, we've, we talked about more last week. And if they That's remi- becoming a stage, a musical, a Broadway musical, though. Really? What is? Frozen. Hmm. As if you guys haven't heard about that. Uh, you I, apparently, we are not up to date on our Disney. I'm so, Georgie, and, this is what. This and is there's your... whole like, oh, and um, Elsa is the first LGBTIQ wow. character. Yeah, in um, in in like Disney <laughs> history, apparently. And then Adina Menzel was interviewed, and she thinks that. Better. Wait for it, guys. Tinkerbell, Tinkerbell uh, yeah. should be Elsa's girlfriend. Weird. Wow. I feel like huge. I feel like I that's that's crossing the realm into like I'm all for increasing diversity, realistic in representation. Like all up for it. Yeah. But you're you're going past that realm into the realm of like shipping from like Tumblr and oh, God. stuff. Yeah. No. You're, you're getting Let's you're, not get into you're that. getting into mm-hmm. that. So the next trailer. <laughs> yes, please. Yeah. Okay. And then you have to bring pick your movie, Adam. Oh, all right. Okay. So the next one. Oh, it, oh yeah, I this, recognize that picture. Th- yeah, Iron Fist. All right, so I'm so keen. It looks so so cool. The uh, the Fist of the Dragon looks like mental. I think I'm going to be the most critical of this show. Really? Yeah. Okay, so in to- as so including all it's a series? because one, I don't know anything <laughs> about. Bless yourself. Never change. <laughs> one, I don't know anything about Iron Fist. I like the Daredevil. I liked Jessica Jones. Did I you was, say the Daredevil? Yeah, I did. So oh. it, it, it's, a, it's a continuation of the uh, of Marvel's kind Netflix of series. Netflix series. So they're going on and they're trying to make it more interesting and stuff like that. And Looks they're building a lot, a lot into it, which is kind of cool. 
But the issue is that they now um, they've hit the end of it. Mm-hmm. They've got uh, all four of the defenders. defenders now classified with their own backstory. Nearly all four. No, well, the, it's in its post production now, so it's we, I'm we we get it very very soon. I'm I think waiting. it's in February Ma- it drops. February or March. It's one of those two. But um, in February or March it'll drop. And then we have a full series going. And we have the Defenders series now with, with Sigourney Weaver. Mm. Yeah. As the, awesome. uh, as the bad guy, which is going to be great. Everyone, everyone, everyone needs money nowadays. Yeah. <laughs> Sam, Sam Neill's in the new Thor movie. What? Yep. yep. Sam yep. Neill's in the new Thor movie. <laughs> um, well, that's because him and the director are like broke. besties. Uh, they're, both, they're both New Zealanders. That's going to be Who's really the cool. director? Um, what's his name? Who did Will the People? Oh, okay. oh, that was a great movie. Is that him? Movie. Yeah. Okay. But um, I think. Yeah, I think it'll be very interesting my, to see. Confirm oh. my facts, Adam. Yeah, well. And watch what we do in the shadows, please. <laughs> so now they have their whole series done. I'm very excited to see where they take it from here. So they have all four. I want to see like Moon Knight just, in the Defenders. Just, just, yes. Just give me the Punisher already. Oh, uh, well, so it's, it's coming. There were, there were new photos I released today, but um, uh, they weren't. Like there was an article wow. saying they were, <laughs> they weren't there. The article was empty. <laughs> and I'm just like, what are you doing, man? Which shout site was Adam. this? Shout out to the 24 hour news cycle. Adam, what <laughs> movie have you picked? Um, I'm going with um just a. It's, I'm have to get my Google ready because I won't know what it is. Um, Sky High. Oh my! <laughs> I do know what that is. With Taylor Lautner. You gotta be kidding me. No, no, you're thinking of no, Shark no. Boy and Lava Girl. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. How do you confuse the two? Um, They're both like oh of the same God. ilk. Yes. Oh have you God. seen it, Dan? <laughs> You've seen it. You have to watch it again. I don't do Yes, you do. Yes, Sky you do. Hi. Oh, that's with Kurt wow. Russell, isn't yes. it? Yes. And, okay. Oh, you could have picked the thing. Come on. <laughs> Things are great movies. 2005. It's not on Netflix, is it? I don't know. Uh, the, I the remember great watching era that of at the movies. drive-ins. Yeah. I remember watching this at the, the drive-ins. Coburg Dan's drive-ins. taking his glasses off. He's become a completely different person. Uh, <laughs> what killed it for you, Dan? Was it was about- Sky High mixed with a new sound effect that we're rolling? <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't know. It just uh, it got me a little bit. It got me off. Got me off uh, God damn, I can't believe I have to watch Sky High again. Yeah, well, you <laughs> better believe it, my friend. I had to watch Pandorum. It's, wow. It's... <laughs> wow. All right, well, uh, so we will be back in about, like, two minutes or so. We're going to give Georgie a chance to Kick disappear. Kick me out. And uh, we'll be back. We're going we're gonna to talk more uh, Marvel news as well as Ghost Rider. I'm kind of in cu- in curious to get Adam's perspective on this. But uh, stay tuned, all you lovely individuals. Bye, guys. Alright guys, welcome back. Wow. Hello. We're just getting some visuals. We Continue. are we are now minus uh the star uh, one, you know, cut member. Georgie. Minus the squad. So uh, She has a name, Dan. Yeah, I know. So back to what Sick I was talking about name. before with Sky Iron High. Fist. No, before <laughs> Sky High, please. Uh so I want to talk about Moon Knight being mm. out because I know Adam and I have been recently getting back into it. I read the... What tw- is Moon Knight? Moon Knight is this uh, quite obscure Marvel superhero. Mm-hmm. He's got... um, Basically, his character died at the foot of this ancient Egyptian god. Is Khufu. that his nemesis now? Huh? Is no. That, no. No. That is him. It's his, Yeah, it's like his he patron kill- saint. Yeah. Okay. So uh, he gets brought back and as part of it, he has to... So it's the god Khonsu, I believe. Uh, Khufu. I can't pronounce it. Um, just double check that. I'm pretty so sure. So he lives. Um, this god is part of four different um cycles, right? He kind of exists in four different dimensions at once. 
cool. as part of it, he um, adopts four different personalities and becomes like the character itself. He, he's clinically insane. Yeah. Like in one that I'm reading, the 2016 one, he's just been released from this uh, mental institution where he's been reputizing with this vigilante Moon Knight and he's not actually part of it. They're, they're trying to do the whole uh, Tarant, uh, M. Night Shyamalan style twist, which is kind of cool. But, uh, what a twist. It looks... At, no, but seriously, the whole comic looks gorgeous. So what would he... What does he... So Did like, you it's, just it's, explain it's, what he does? Essentially, he's... um, he, it's, it's very It's classic. Batman. It's very classic. <laughs> so who's his Joker? It would be a red cape, wouldn't it? Um, no, I, is I'd that a say guy was, who um, just wears a what's red cape? The oh. person who kills him in the beginning. The you know the. Oh my god, his name's eluding me. Wow. Um, keep going. I'll find it. it regardless, so yeah, it, it's more. He's very classic superhero, so like super strong, super fast, agile. Has he's Superman? No, but he, he not that strong, mm, fast, and agile. Moon I thought you didn't like heroes projectiles. like that, Dan. Oh no, I don't. He. He is not at all... The issue I have is with fully invulnerable heroes. Okay. Where it felt like the kid on the playground when you were all picking superheroes, like, I want all the powers. It's like, no, don't. Don't be that guy. But because uh, it makes you really hard to relate to. Like Bushman. I, huh? The Bushman. Bushman. It's nemesis. There and go. it's the moon god Bushman. Conchu. Yes. Bushman. Bushman, yes. So what's his deal? Because I don't know anything about this. Okay, so, I feel like... so Mark Spector is a mercenary. Mark Spector is one of Moon Knight's many aliases. Yep. Um, he's a mercenary working with um, this guy, Bushman. Yep. And is he like a park ranger? No. Okay. No, this is like in um, Egypt somewhere. Okay. It starts off. And Bushman. basically, uh, Bushman kills someone. And Spector kind of just gets this sense of, you know... I'm better than this, yeah. blah, blah, blah. And he stops Bushman, fails to. Bushman kills him. I feel gets like... Gets brought back to life by this, you know, moon god, Egyptian moon god, and then carries out his vengeance. I don't know much about it, but I feel like the names of these characters were written by, like, primary school kids who's writing a fantasy, like, story. It's... He, it, it was the 70s. And, oh, yeah. I, I will say, I will say, on paper, mm -hmm. he doesn't look that great. But, like, me reading through it now, like, I read through the 2014 series and now I'm reading through the 2016 series. The later the later artwork is obviously so much better oh than the God, original. Oh, my God, it's so gorgeous. Ridiculously better. So um, it goes into some hard pastel and it really, like... It, mm. Also, Bushman is, is the guy's legitimate last name. Okay. It, it's not like a, an oh, alias no, or okay. anything. <laughs> um, Moon Knight is the, you know... But yeah, his it, legitimate I, last I, I name. I get it looks a little. Okay. Bit, <laughs> I get it looks a little bit corny, but on, pay, on paper. Okay. But no, it, I think I actually think the name Moon Knight sounds really cool. It, it's it, just that he has to fight Bushman. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I, it was I, Bushman, right? Because yeah, I just yeah. got a completely different context in my head right yeah, yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. It's like this big, like <laughs> African mercenary. Okay. Uh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. So but, that, that's Bushman. Uh, so can we? Uh, one other thing I wanted to talk about because they've talked a lot about this in as part of NCC. NYCC, I screwed up the acronym, my bad, is uh, Ghost Rider. So Robbie Reigns as Ghost Rider, where they've taken it th that entirely new direction with the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. kind of stuff. Yeah, so season four of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. started a few weeks ago, and they they um, they um had their teasers, um, you know, a couple of months out before the season started. Well, this is and actually one of them now. Yeah, and th that was the second one, but the first one was just a, um, a flaming chain. Um, uh, which was just on the end there. It was just Flaming Chain. And people were speculating, oh, is it Ghost Rider? Who's it going to be? And we're like, oh, you know, Ghost Rider's too big a character to put on two. So you have uh, Johnny Blaze, the one that was played by uh, Nicholas Nicolas Cage. Cage in that and and yeah. he, horrible, he horrible. rode over the bridge in Melbourne <laughs> and went to the Melbourne show at the start. Oh, God, that was, that was something That's spectacular. I don't remember that movie. I don't want to remember that movie. I was working at a cinema. If you're, if you're making me watch Sky High, I'm put, making that one my movie club choice. For no, I movie. watched I watched the trailer um, for uh, the new Ghost Rider recently. Why would you pick Sky High? But uh, look, let's let, let's stop. <laughs> exactly, it's upsetting you guys. Let's stop judging him. Let's stop judging him, but go back to uh, Ghost Rider because I am actually very happy that they've gone with the Robbie Reigns character because there's so much more to him. Like, so the original Ghost Rider, you have. Do you reckon? Uh, well, the original Ghost Rider only has what Cancer Dad. What? Uh, very, which is like <laughs> only. Well, like the dead parents cliche is so used in the superhero world. It's like it's bread and butter. It's uh, I've seen this a lot. But Robbie Reigns, it's uh, he's orphan, so it's still technically dead parents. Sorry, guys. 
but uh, he has the uh, the crippled <laughs> brother that he's looking after. Gabe, yes. Yeah, and uh, as well as that, the uh, the car that he drives when he turns into Ghost Rider. Yeah, it's so one instead of, of Johnny cool Blaze's um, chopper, it's a uh, it's a like this old muscle car, and it looks kind of like Tom Jane in The Punisher, kind of muscle car. I guess, yeah, but, but uh, not as not as good. Okay, sorry, and, no, better, better oh. than the, uh, the and Punisher one. As well as this, it. Like he has a lot more sense of responsibility rather than just I don't know whether it was just the Ghost Rider movie really tainted the character of Johnny Blaze for me. Like it's well, a- I think I think that's the same thing happened with Daredevil as well. Yeah, I mean the, the Daredevil movie. I remember well, when no, well, the Daredevil series came out and a lot of people were sort of I don't know about it until yeah. they actually sat down and watched it. Well, I remember my friend was telling me to read Daredevil like you know way before the series was announced. He kept telling me to read um, Daredevil uh, a lot, but. I, I was always like, no, I'm not going to do that. I've seen that movie. It's a horrible character. But I just out, remember the, the songs they am released. I the only one, am I the only one who didn't completely hate it? I yes. Was, I thought it was... Oh, dude. It, it, was, it had its own I saw it again last year. I've got, so I've, got a, I've got Dan's review of Daredevil just from his old Tumblr. It says... <laughs> you had an old Tumblr? 10 out no, of he, 10. He's, he's oh, with better it. than Looper. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like it more than Looper, but I didn't think Dude, it was... Dude, the soundtrack was bad. Oh, the soundtrack was terrible. Uh, but... The animations were bad. <laughs> Speaking of bad animations, has any of you seen the new Star Trek yet? Beyond? Yeah, I have. That's what did you think? I've seen. Um, I enjoyed it. I hadn't seen the second one. Uh, wh- which animation bits are you talking about? Like all of them. The Beastie Boys? Sp- specifically the scene where um, they use the motorcycle to like, you know, uh. walk through the thing. And it's really, really badly done. Like, really? really badly done. I don't think I really noticed. I was just kind of like, this is happening. It's, it's, pr- you know, it's, pretty, you... it's pretty bad. Mm. Okay. But um, I mean... I will say for, for some good animation coming out, we have uh, some Doctor Strange stuff as well, as well, which was released. We do. And that better be good for the bloody budget and reputation, oh, oh, Scott. It's, so, it, it, it's been like... So expanded out, but it looks so amazing. I'm so I'm I'm very very happy. Uh, it's got this whole Inception vibe going on. Oh, it, it yeah. It, without the blams, but uh, <laughs> oh, that's well, another sound we, we don't we, need. we don't know that. <laughs> oh, it, it's got some pretty it, it's got some pretty like loud sound effects. If, but but if I hear a blam, I'm definitely gonna call uh call shenanigans. But uh, I don't know. I like that they've taken it in this weird direction and they're like i'm not uh, and apparently now this is going to be confirmed avengers in the doctor strange trailer there is and also the thor ragnarok um on the set photos confirmed that thor was actually holding um the address for doctor strange's uh, mansion yeah it'll be uh it'll be a cool one to see i'm i'm very very happy that they have just gone look we'll take a very unknown Oh well, I guess he's he's gotten twenty sixteen reboots and now just to kind of promote him up. I always got mm. him confused with the guy from Fantastic Four, just because they were both doctors. I think is it Doctor Doom, <laughs> Doctor Doom, or yeah, the villain, yeah, yeah. yeah. But the other one's a doctor as well, Mister Fantastic. Reed, yeah, Reed Richards, Doctor Richards. Yeah, but his name's Mister Fantastic. It is. It's true. <laughs> so. But um, I don't know. I'm quietly hopeful about how they're taking this. It's going to be cool to get a whole another direction of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, which obviously. If you have watched any of these programs, you know I am a huge fan of. Uh, so it'll be very interesting. Now, uh, can we talk a little bit of Walking Dead? Because that was also announced and I kind of yes. want to... Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. No, I really like the show. I um, like the show too, but the last few seasons have just been really dragging. To, to be honest, I gave up on the show during uh, season two on that farm so, thing. So you know... <laughs> uh, okay, two. Herschel's farm did take a long time. I we I felt like I was there for years. It wasn't it wasn't that it was just it became this show, and well I, then I got back into it when I got to season four and I'm like well this is a little bit better but there was a point in that season two where it really felt like a soap opera. That was was yeah. it? What, did the prison so the prison one like so, so that's season three? Did season not three back? no no wasn't that season four? No no season three season three was the prison. governor then season four was the return of the governor where they killed Herschel yeah and he came with a tank. Um, season four was kind of the thing that uh, that was better than season three. I, I think season three I did not like at all. Really? Yeah, I loved I didn't season like it. three. I, I just th- thought it was like, oh, okay, now it's just them. I like how the character other town. I like, like how the character. We already developed. saw that in Jericho. I it was cool. Well, I haven't seen that. Okay, well and I have. Then, I do. 
what really annoys me about the Walking Dead series as a whole is I feel like it's the same plot uh, for each season. So for well, every single season, it is. <laughs> you, you, you have them all trying to coll- uh, align together and then uh, keep uh, trying to find safe havens in every single season. So you have the little ridge in the rock pool type place. I'm not yep. even sure what it's called. Yeah. It's Herschel's Farm too. You have the prison. prison. You have Terminus. Which was that was a whole, that was interesting. Yeah, oh, that and was that was an amazing. Paul uh, Alexandria, Alexandria. And then Alexandria. Yeah, and it's. It, I feel like they're really, that, they really they ran it. out of ideas. <laughs> well, I feel like the whole Negan thing coming in it's gonna shake things up heaps. Well, I do like Jeffrey Dean Morgan a lot. He's great, but I kind of feel like they're still just gonna be doing the same stuff, and you know I'll watch it, but mm. it's not gonna be the same at all. Logan. Have you played the? Uh, no. The game? Oh, uh, is the Telltale games? Oh, my they God. Are I adore them. Amazing. I, uh, Clementine is my spirit animal. <laughs> it just, like, because I only played this, the second one this year, season, season two. two, because originally I played the first one on my on my Mac, and then I got a PC, and then it wouldn't carry my saves over, and oh, I'm like, okay. I don't want to play it on my of Mac. Course, so I had yeah. to play through the first season again, and it was just draining for me. I'd start and be like, no, I've done this. I know what's going to happen. Then when I got to season two, I'm like, this is amazing. There was no relive in the fields. Oh, that was the last episode. <laughs> oh my god! There were there were tears. There, is, there is a mo- the moment where you you're... gotta play it. No, never gonna play any of those games. Why? Really? Because I played one Beyond Which Two Souls and Beyond Two Souls was that that's, a Telltale? Uh, that's not game? Telltale. That's not a Telltale an entirely game. different company. I mean, it's that's Square the Enix. Same thing. What? what like what? In story how? Based? It's a story based game. Yeah, but I do not like those at all. I want to play a game because I want to play a game. If I want to watch a movie. I'll watch a movie. If I want a story... This is what someone I'll read says a book whenever or they a haven't movie. played a Telltale game. I've played a Telltale, Telltale game. i played one of the Walking Dead ones. Oh, you okay. just said that you hadn't. Did I? Yeah, that's what oh. we're talking about. And you're like, well, I played, no, played I have played Dead one of them, but it was on the... um Because they had them on the iPhone. Ah. Uh, Didn't they? No. That's, y- are you that, sure? That, which one was that? They had, they had something on the iPhone, and I just checked it out. I don't know. It, it's... It's one thing. I think it was free. Uh, season two is free for PlayStation Plus members. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm still, I'm still not going to get I it. I would a hundred percent just recommend. You I'm really give liking it a look. watching no. Clementine grow up. Oh, it's uh, very season. Good. Season three is going to be awesome. Season three is going to be very. Did you play the miniseries, the Michonne uh, miniseries? No, I'm not paying for that. <laughs> it was. Uh, I've well, heard it's not that great, but so is it good? It was pretty cool. Okay, I'll have to. It, get it. it was one of those things where it didn't have as much feeling because I wasn't as attached. Even though Michonne's in the show. Right, and I've uh, kind of grown up with her in the show. As is it the same as shown really in have... the game? Huh? Yeah. Is it the same as shown in the game? But yeah. it's like a prelude. It's like a backstory. Before she meets up with Angela in that woods with the two yeah, zombies. Yeah, yeah. So what about the Batman one? The Batman Telltale oh, is supposed to be amazing. That, that is definitely, like, oh, I... It, just, I'll read a comic book. Jesus. Uh, yeah, you have the, um, the Batman Telltale. I've also really got behind the... I played through the Game of Thrones one. It was pretty fun. I didn't... But the uh, the Borderlands one, considering I did not like Borderlands the game, but I adored the Borderlands Telltale. You didn't like Borderlands the game? I don't like Borderlands the game. I Why didn't you like it? If I wanted to play a game, I'd play a game. I, I, I do agree with Jake. I feel like it's a very what? looty shoot. It's No, it's a loot. It's just, it's, you loot and shoot. There's yeah. no like substance to it. It's a lot of fun. I, I had some... Uh, I, 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 <laughs> kind of enjoy just playing it with like my mate in the same on split screen well yeah i mean there's no story in it but the, yeah there's nothing to it i i, I that's what a game is i no <sighs> nah. games to me need that story element that's why so around the room because i guess we're in npc now i didn't really think we we would make it here <laughs> npc hey, without walking dead it. was a really good transition it really it ended up quite well but uh so now for npc i just want to start off by going for the favorite game series just so people get where we're at as video game players so Jake, go first. Um, well, I don't know. This is kind of a hard one. Like, uh, I didn't have a console for a while after my Super Nintendo, but once I got my Xbox 360, I was all about that Left 4 Dead game. Quality game. That is a quality video game. That is just amazing. I was like right into the zombie genre back then, and that was just the perfect game. Did and you just do the, like the four player multiplayer? Yeah, and just working together with people. It, it was it was amazing to me. I was always terrible at that. I would. Uh... Yeah, I probably would have kicked you. <laughs> Thanks, Jack. Appreciate it, mate. Adam, what about yourself? Favorite, uh, what one of like the standout series for you? I mean, series as a whole probably Killzone, just because it was the first shooting game I ever played. Um, 
just forget about the last kill zone because it was pretty horrible. <laughs> but like one was a very great shooter for its time. Very dated though, if you play it again now. But two and three were the flagships for um, PS3 and you know, you'll struggle to find a more realistic shooting game than those ones. Uh, see, and I've and I go totally away from realism because I'm all about that escapism stuff because I loved Mass Effect. So Mass Effect Two would be one of my favorite games of all time because I love the idea of getting totally invested with a character over a course of period of time. Like even uh, and that's not Shepard for me. That those are all the characters I interact with. Like Thane Krios from uh, Episode Two, probably one of my favorite character that were ever written. Tali. I can't really get into the whole RPG thing. It's just, I feel like it's just too It's a much. time commitment. It, yeah, it's a yeah. serious time commitment. Like I, but uh, me and my mates, we were totally into it. It would be, uh, we got all the DLC for it. The Shadow Broker DLC is some of my favorite DLC of all time. And going in that back and forth where you have, you get to get spend so much time getting to know this stuff. However, Andromeda, I don't know how I'm going to feel about it. Considering I love the series so much, and they're just trying to take. Are we talking about the TV show Andromeda? Mass Effect Andromeda. No, the newest Star Mass Effect they're trying to take out because it has no connection to the um, original storyline. So I feel like all of those choices that I spent so much time agonizing over, that like I went to sleep and I was like, "Did I do the right thing? What did I do with my life?" Well, they don't really. They don't really impact me. Well, what about like? No, they don't. (laughs) What about right now? What are you playing right now? Uh, Hitman. The newest Hitman. Is it good? Oh my! I've seen some pretty amazing things. It's so fun. There's uh, there's something very satisfying about the ragdoll physics in that game, mm. where you end up with it, it's you and a target, and you're like, have fun. I All feel right. like you would really enjoy Gary's mod. If oh, you've ever... oh yeah, no, I, I've played a lot of Gary's. Mod. How much? Like, how, Murder, how different? Tr- Trouble in Terrace it. Town. I'm all about it. How different is, is it from like the Blood Money and all those original ones? Uh, is it gra- less stiff? Huh? I always felt like the Hitman games were really stiff, like it, in movements and stuff. It's, I don't know. I, I never felt that, so I can't really tell a difference. But for me, it did, does seem a lot cleaner. Uh, a lot more options in terms of opportunities to do interesting stuff. Like, I can... Because it's, like, the same f- six or seven maps, right? With uh, elusive targets and stuff like that going on throughout the time. It's... Uh, they've given you a lot of opportunities to do the same thing for the end result. Okay. So I can play the same map about six, seven different times I've, and still keep getting different I've results. I've seen a video See, where there's... Of, that sounds kind of really boring. It's fun. <laughs> After a while. Yeah, but like, for how long? As long as you want it to be fun for. I don't know. It definitely... It. I was of the same idea, but I played um, Absolution before that, and I really loved that. That's what got me into the Hitman series. And then from there, I've gone into... Uh, just this original Hitman game, which I was a bit conscientious about because it was episodic, where they were doing releases of each individual map so they could like grow it out and keep doing elusive targets and stuff like that. Elusive targets, for those who are unaware, is basically where you have one character that is available for a hunt, and if you kill him, great, you get that on your achie- achievements, but you will never get a chance to do it again. It's like a, It really ups the stakes. Like You feel generally terrified if someone spots you I've been see I need something with a really long campaign so yeah because you've been and playing a lot of Bioshock like lately haven't new. you yeah but like that that wasn't long no like it seemed long the first time I played it but now playing it for I mean Infinite is the third time I played it second time I played the first Bioshock and first time playing the second um, Infinite did not take as long this time as it did I the other know, times I, 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 even then though it's still just one of those games where you jump in and you so amazing like oh yeah i mean it's it's visually probably one of the best games maybe visually i played Um, it for the first time this year really thoroughly enjoyed it yeah Mm. it's uh, i I would say elizabeth is one of my favorite npcs that has ever existed i think i picked it up in the bioshock pack it was like five dollars for all three yeah it was pretty good yeah but um yeah I, I used to think it was Ashley from uh, Resident Evil 4 that she would be my favorite NPC of all time. Ooh. Just because she could hide in that dumpster. 30 bucks on the PS store. Remastered. <laughs> I'm, um, I'm, I'm, sav- I'm saving up for that I'm that going one. to enjoy some uh, Resident Evil. Leon S. Evil. Kennedy, Ada Wong. Me and my uh, GameCube. There was a lot of time there spent what as do you, a child. What do you think of the new Resident Evil being a first-person lantern no. sort of thing? No. It's, no. it's, it's no. not great, is it? I'm... First off, I'm not a big horror genre guy. I as used it is. to be a really big horror genre video game guy, and I think no. 
Really? I, okay. For for the for the for yeah no so, I don't. So what, would I don't you, what was your favorite like kind of horror genre type game? Other than Left 4 Dead. Other than Left 4 Dead. Oh no, this is like pre Left 4 Dead. I'm talking like the original Resident Evils, Silent Hill, mm. terrifying. Yeah, right. Um, all those kind of games, which I just can't play anymore. Do you get behind like the indie games, like the Five Nights type series and stuff like that? Um, I'm too scared to play Five Nights at Freddy's. Uh, uh, see, I can I don't see the point of that. I don't know. I get really. It's up. more of just a. I don't know. It's I'm anxious as is. I don't need PC anything else. To do it. It. Speaking of, in, have you played ever played Hotline Miami? No, <laughs> no. This is don't that, worry that, about it. That's that was fine. just met with more dead air than I think we've ever had in this entire show. Well, you should play it. It's amazing. <laughs> Last of Us. Uh, okay. Yeah, that was yeah, good. That I got was... a I got a PS3 so I could play that. It's... Like, did you get a PS3 just so you could play that? Yeah. Was were you like glad you did? Yeah, it was good. And then I just never used my PS3 again. Yeah, fair. <laughs> all, right, all right, so before we finish up... <laughs> but I did have a cool Blu-ray player for a bit. <laughs> before we finish up, because I realise we only have five minutes left on our yep. hour show, which is insane. Do you want to talk about the uh, Bob Dylan? News? I really want to talk about Bob Dylan winning a Nobel Prize. I think it'd be wow. something. Wow. <laughs> no one's stopping that, you, except that, uh, Jake. That sound, track, that sound bored. If we get more of these, I don't think I'm ever going to get anything done. I'm going to keep stopping in the middle of my sentences. That's your but, cue, Jake. Uh, in terms of this award, it was something that I literally discovered, I think, 20 minutes before we went to air, which is it, it, genuinely, I'm just like looking through some stuff, and it's so cool to hear this uh, big. G- like, I uh, absolutely adore Bob Dylan, but uh, it's yeah, he's good, he goes all right. Yes, I know. I, I my uh, my folks were into a lot of the 60s kind of elements to it, too. So to see, not as good as Looper. <laughs> I'm not gonna, get, I'm not gonna live that down anytime soon, am I? Hell no. <laughs> I didn't hate it. I'm just trying to put it out there, guys. Continue. But anyway. <laughs> just didn't like it. So he got the... Uh, so he's 75 now, won the won the prize for having created the new poetic expressions within the great like American song pr- tradition. Now he finds himself like... So people have won this award. You have like Winston Churchill, Thomas Mann. Uh, Jesus Christ, I can't even pronounce his last name. Uh, <laughs> Rudyard Kapling. I don't even know who that is. But... Uh, you probably so, said it wrong, that's why. Oh, probably. As a Nobel laureate, and I think it's great to see this transition to more pop culture embracements to classic award winnings, right? Mm-hmm. So I feel it's something we constantly overlook. I mean, we get a lot of attention in the entertainment industry, but to see someone so talented able to be recognized on a global scale, unlike anything we you really see. I saw Looper. <laughs> Continue. That was released globally, wasn't it? Yes, Jake? it was. Dan, continue. I'm sorry. It's okay. We're just having some fun. Uh, it's okay. I forgive you. Um, but you have three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Take your time, Dan. No rush. It drags out a take, bit. Take you away from that soundboard. I think too. we need to fade that out. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so I, for me, it was just something very cool to see a transition into modern reconciliation of cop- of something pop culture that is normally overlooked and just done for entertainment awards and stuff like that, that don't hold that much growth in a greater society. A Nobel Prize, you think it's like, this is for people who have cured cancer and now Bob Dylan has one. It's awesome to me. Mm. I thought we were still talking about Looper for a second there. <laughs> <laughs> We've been talking about Looper this whole time. Yeah, I, I actually am still... Uh, it, it, is a, it is a pretty... Um, we're going to talk about it till he loves it. Amazing point, though. They're like, you know, I'm, Bob I'm, Dylan can get a Nobel Peace Prize just for writing a bunch of words. Yeah, well, hey, words are powerful. You and can do a lot. I don't know. It's something, there's something special there. When uh, people connect words to a song. Like well, he wasn't going to get it for singing, so. Words are like bullets. They pass right through me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know where I'm going. People connect to music unlike anything that you can ever that you can really connect. To. I had I did not get for the, get the reference, so it kind of went completely over my head. It's, a South it's okay, reference. you've seen the movie. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the show is just progressing generally into gra- into just jabs at one another. It's, <laughs> That's what it is. I thought that it was, I thought that was the concept. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. During like during the pitching stage of it all. Well, the pitching stage is now that we are at. Almost an hour, which mm-hmm. is congratulations, guys! First hour show. That was pretty good. <laughs> um, it, it, it was nice to, be, to just to be able to go through it without stumbling along and needing to like. I'm pretty sure I stumbled. On. Stumbled a well, bit. Well, you know what I mean. It's been very uh, not rushed. Uh, and it's uh, normally very. This is how the show will work for the rest of its course existence. 
however long that is. See you probably guys. Two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> probably two weeks. Probably two weeks. So in terms of this, we will we'll be back again doing the show live at 2 o'clock for an hour again. If you want to just hear us chat about nonsense, feel free to go onto our YouTube page for Upstart Magazine as well. All the shows are on there. They are. And we'll be back at 2 p.m. next Friday. Yes, we will. Correct. We will. Yes, and we'll continue throughout the uni break as well. Thank you very much, right. guys. See you later. Bye. See ya.